Welcome back to Christian Living Radio. This is Pastor G. We've got the new sounds from Landlord. You're listening to the Landlord Show right here on Christian Living Radio. That's right. The hit Caribbean and urban American hit gospel show is right here, getting ready to come to you right now with Landlord. May God's best be yours. Enjoy the show. Good day to you and welcome to Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Hit Show with yours truly, Landlord and Mike D. It's the great current gospel hits from the Bahamas, the Caribbean, and from all across America. The sinner saved by grace. I couldn't bear my sins alone, so you took my place. Came into the world to die upon the cross. Just so my sin sick soul could not be lost. Caribbean artist for the week, Mr. Rocky Solomon, all the way from Nassau, Bahamas. And that was his single, Oh Lord, Hear My Prayer. 
And man, Rocky has been in the trenches for years, man. And he's always on time. And he's a hard worker. Love the Lord. And he's doing major things. He's working on his new album. So you guys look out for him, okay? And now to my brother from another mother. Can you please introduce our guest all the way from the U.S.? We want to welcome a gifted singer, a dedicated minister of music, songwriter, producer, businessman, actor, Ernest Pugh. Brother Ernest, welcome. How are you, man? What's up there, Mike D? I mean, it's been a minute, but I'm so glad to link back up with you. Yes, sir. It's been a minute, man. But it's always an honor and good to talk to you. Good day, Mr. Ernest Pugh. And welcome to the Caribbean, an urban American gospel hit show. You know, I admire your music ministry for many years, man. You are one of my favorites. But you know, one thing impressed me most about your life, man. You know, I was reading up on you and your mother, man. She saw there was a gift in you and she helped you nurture that. If many mothers can take that approach that your mom took... Man, there would be many other great Ernest Pew out there, man, contributing to the kingdom of God, using their gifts wisely to uplift others. What do you think about that, man? Yeah, Landlord, it's so good to be on here just talking with you right now. Uh, Thank you so much for even remembering what my mom said. (laughs) Just like you, I'm really grateful to the late, great Lily Pearl Whitmore. Um, She saw, like you said, something very special in me among all the other kids that she had. I'm the seventh uh, of nine that she had, but there's a total of 13 of us. But she always said to me, in the midst of everything, just sing. And I was like, hey, that's a T-shirt, Mom. And what I learned how to do is because life, even as a young child, I found out that it's life is full of a lot of highs, a lot of lows. You win some and you lose some. But as long as you maintain the fact that God is with you, he's for you, um, that he is in you, um, who can be against you and succeed if God is for you? And I went through life. I went through uh, 20 plus years in the military with that mindset. And when I got in the gospel music industry, I was the same mindset. And I think that's what has caused my resilience to be a reality for me and to live out those things that she spoke over me. So I'm grateful for a foundational teacher like my mom, who really left me a heritage of faith, even though she's gone on. I live on and her legacy lives on through me uh, because of the faith that she left me. Oh, man, that's great, man. Yeah, man, I totally agree. And that's an awesome testimony, you know. And today I salute your mom. She's seeing that gift in you and nurturing. That was an awesome move. Awesome. Ernest, you've got a great music group company. You've had some great ministering artists on your label company like Crystal Rucker and others. Are you still producing others, uh, other artists on EPM Music Group? I am. We're we're, uh, currently working on what's called a um, Rising Stars uh, compilation CD, and we did it a couple of years ago, and it was amazing. Got a chance to really create a platform uh, for some of these singers, man, with tangible anointings that have just been on the backside of the desert for a long time. But through EPM Music Group uh, and the E1 Entertainment, we've been able to give them a platform. That record was even nominated for Stella, so I was like, good Lord, God's hand was really up on it. So we're doing it again. You'll see a large campaign on social media coming uh, very soon to where we'll be soliciting uh, people who want to submit a single to us. And on that single, we compile it on that compilation CD and just we release them to the world and just let people partake of these great ministries. So some great talent men coming from all over the globe, not only just U.S., but we got a lot of people from, say, um, one particular lady sent us something from from the Bahamas, too. We got a really talented girl. But uh, Saudi Arabia, we even got somebody to send something. We were recently in Mombasa, Africa, and we got two people that are going to come over from Africa sending their music over in Australia. Got a wonderful uh, urban artist coming from Australia. So my, my goal with this is just to reach the world with the gospel yeah. through music, and that's what we're doing. Oh, man, that is wonderful, man. People who've never had a deal before but got incredible 
incredible talent mm-hmm. and anointing that the world just needs to hear. And, and people could get more information about that by going online or, or, or they can just... Yes, www.epmmusicgroup.com is where uh, people can go to get a little bit more information about the Rising Stars. All right, man. Rise mm-hmm. on, stars. Rise on. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> yeah, man. That is awesome, Minister Pew, man. And that is what we in the Caribbean and Bahamas are looking for. Great initiatives and opportunity that will take us to another level. God bless you, sir. Mr. Pew, I have a fan out of Barbados. Her name is Miss Caroline Walks, and she wants to know, what was it that made you decide to sing gospel? Well, I want to say to my sister, Sister Caroline Walks, that what made me do gospel is because in bad times, and we all have experienced them before, in bad times, people need good news. And there's no other music that really speaks to the full ramifications of what we really try go through uh, in this thing called life. And so, to me, gospel music is the greatest way uh, for God to use me to convey a message on his behalf to his people. Oh, good word, good word. For sure. Well, Caroline, I hope you were listening, and I hope Mr. Pew answer to your question was a blessing to you today. God bless. Ernest, you do so much for the kingdom all around America and all around the world. Kudos to you and continued success with your latest song, I Need You to Breathe, and the yes, upcoming sir. album, Survive, coming out maybe in, later, late this summer. Uh, we appreciate you, man, and all that you do. And thanks so much for joining us. God be with you always. Ernest Pugh. Mike G and Landlord, I want to thank you guys for having me on the show today. It was a blast, and I look forward to joining you again. Thank you, man. And maybe we, we enjoyed ourselves, man. We look forward to having you once again very soon in the future. God bless you. And I want to just say goodbye to everybody in Bahamas and the Caribbean. It was a blast. Y'all off the chain. And thanks so much for your faithful support over the years. This force will pray. I live to worship you. Help me say, I rain. This force, it will.
Glory to God. We can do nothing without Him. Nothing. And with Him, all things are possible. I Need You to Breathe is from Ernest Pugh. Ernest is one of the many gospel artists who has his own record label. Ernest's record label is called EPM Music Group. We want to thank the gospel crooner Ernest Pugh for joining us today on Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Hits. I Need You to Breathe is a nice worship song from Ernest Pugh, and he's given God all the glory, landlord. Praise God. Yeah, Mike, I truly love that song, man. It was awesome, man. And he has been bringing us beautiful worship song for many years uh, that led many people to Christ, man. And, you know, we look forward for more coming from him in the future. And I know that God is going to bless him for his wonderful work in the kingdom of God. Right now, we're going to the beautiful island of Barbados to a young lady by the name of Nisha Woods. And she's doing an awesome job down there. And man, she's on fire for the Lord, man. You know, and she just released a new single. It's called Worth It. Don't you go nowhere. the greatest value to God, so much so that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, just for you. And the song Worth It from Nisha Woods out of Barbados is thanking God for that. Landlord Nisha is doing it up, man. 
<laughs> I'm like, I told you you're going to love that song. Yeah, that was Anisha Woods from Barbados, an amazing young lady that is on fire for the Lord. And you know, right now we're at the end of the show. And before we leave, Mike, is there something you would like to say before we leave? Peace, love, and blessings to you listening. God be with you with all that is going on with you. Okay, bro. Okay, okay. And right now, we just want to thank our guests for joining us today all the way from the U.S. We truly appreciate you for joining us today on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Lake Show. You know, and we also want to thank all our listeners who listen to us every week because we truly appreciate you. And we look forward to you joining us next time on the number one radio station here. This is yours truly, Landlord, and on the behalf of Mike D and everyone here, thanks for being with us on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show. Before we leave, you know how we go. We always like to leave you with something sweet. And we're going to leave you with a music, a new single from my good friend, Mr. Rocky Solomon. And this song is called, Lord, I Got to Keep Praying. Because you know we got to keep praying, man. Because, man, trust me, it is be so rough out there, man. And thank God for his grace and mercy. So until next time, God bless you. Okay.
hell To all my souls I ain't got to hell One of these morning it won't be long You look for me and I'll be gone I'm going to heaven and I still right down Ask my Jesus for my starry hit gospel show just provided us with another fabulous show for the day with Ernest Pugh. We thank you all, landlord, for what you're doing over there, Mr. Mike D, uh, bringing it strong all around the world. We send prayers out to you, brothers, and lift you up in Jesus' mighty name. This is Pastor G. You're listening to ChristianLivingRadio.com. Until next time, may God's best be yours.